guys. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my nighttime skincare routine, um, what has been working for me, and um, hopefully you guys will get a couple of tips and tricks on what I do and how I um, attempt to get good skin. I suffer from rosacea, and so I get lots of red bumps around my face. It's pretty hard to control. If anybody has it, you understand um, that it can get breakouts at any time. You just never know what is going to set it off. Um, usually spicy food, alcohol, things like that, um, hot water. Um, but I have really been making an effort to get it under control. And I don't know if you can see, but I do have red bumps. You'll see them a lot more once I remove my makeup. But um, if you would like to see what I do to get ready at night, stick around and I'll hopefully teach you something. Okay. Okay, so um, the first thing I'd like to do is um, I love to double cleanse and that's worked really well for me because I just think about it and when you don't double cleanse, it's like I think of like rubbing dirty makeup like just on my skin with that first if I only do one time. Um, so I start off with a really great balm. It's really affordable. This one is the Clean It Zero. Um, and cleansing balm, the original formula. I love this stuff. I feel like it is just as good as the Elemis and a bunch of others that are on the market now, but I really love it. I mean, I'm almost done. <laughs> so anyways, I get a nice chunk of it and I take my eye makeup off and everything with this. I've seen people who don't really like to take their eye makeup off with the, um, the balm, but just rub it in your hands. I mean, it really, look at how it just completely melts. And I just go in and go and remove the whole thing. And today my mascara, I didn't really have a whole lot of makeup on today um, for work. I just kind of kept it easy. So it's not gonna be that much to take off, but I mean, it just takes everything off so easily. I want to, um, hopefully you guys will comment below anybody who has suffered with rosacea because literally it has been the bane of my existence. I have tried everything and finally my dermatologist put me on um, dioxycycline, doxycycline I think it's called. Um, I just hate the idea of having to be on a an antibiotic. Having to be on an antibiotic is something that just kind of makes me feel really crappy because I don't want to have something that's not natural that's going to get rid of it. I mean, you know, antibiotics are just you're, where you cure one thing, you end up having others that are other side effects that come up. But anyways, okay, so... Um, the way I take this off, I hate putting my hands and going in the water. I know a lot of people use the terry cloth hand straps and or hand wraps and they put them on so that they're not feeling the water, but I just can't stand that. Um, so I have been using these Clean Skin Club um, clean towels. They're incredible. I don't like to reuse towels over and over because the bacteria. So using these, I mean, they're amazing. They're biodegradable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse it off or wash it off with just a little bit of tepid water. I try to really go gentle and I don't pull or tug. I just gently wipe and it takes everything off, you guys. I mean, like no no kidding it's really awesome and I go around my ears and up in my hairline because we know that we do all our contouring and all that good stuff and it really does get in your hairline I mean look at that <laughs> and that was saying I didn't wear a lot of makeup <laughs> anyway so I rinse it off I like try to get around my nose really good because that's where I really, God, I'm like blind right now. I really um, get these red bumps all through my T-zone and it's just 
the hardest thing to get rid of, but I've taken Saw Palmetto. I have used all kinds of, used all kinds of um, acids and all kinds of stuff to try and get rid of it. But like, look, completely clean. And I'm gonna use it for the second um, cleansing, which I have really been enjoying this Korean skincare line called Reefer or Refer. Um, it's the Gentle Cleanser and it has 15% glycerin, 9% um, surfactant blend and 3% green tea extract, 2% aloe vera extract and 0.5% hyaluronic acid, which is a plumping um, serum, but I just take, this is what it is, by the way. I just take a small pump of that, work it into my hands, and I go back in and do the next step. And you just wanna be super gentle with your Removal, some people are really tough on their eyes and around their eyes, but you really want to stay as gentle as you can because the skin is so thin. And I just work my way down my neck. Um, give myself like a little massage. And these are, my bumps right now are probably as good. They're so much better. I could probably try and insert a picture of how bad they were. I don't know if I want to or not, but I mean, they're really, I mean, I get them like boom, 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 boom like every. So I just go in, I wipe off the rest and I will show you what I use in just a second. But as you can see, I suffer terribly from red dots around my nose. I think my glasses really do the damage. Um, but, you know, I mean, I try to clean them. I try to make them as, as disinfected as possible. But, I mean, when you suffer from rosacea, it's kind of really difficult to get everything so they just pop up for no reason you just never know what's going to set it off and anyway i will um go and set up and i'm going to show you what i do uh for my nighttime routine okay so that feels so good um i i just took off everything so you guys can see i mean this is so much better you don't even you can't even imagine i really have terrible rosacea <laughs> um I get lots of broken capillaries around my face and I have some melasma. So there are things that I've been trying to take up for, uh, take care of for quite a long time. Um, if I didn't have that, my skin would actually look fairly decent, but, but unfortunately it's just something I have to deal with every day. So anyways, I'm done with my makeup removal and now I like to go in with a tune with a toner, really gentle toner. This is the, uh, Puyun Kang, you Pu Young Kang Yule Essence Toner. I really love this. It's super gentle. I just like to shake it up. It it's not as thin like as a toner. It has a little bit of a consistency to it, like a little thicker consistency, but still really, really gentle. I love it. And I always go down my neck. And I even try to go down onto my chest and let that sink in for a second. Then what I like to do is I love this Lumiere Neoceuticals eye cream. This is the firming eye cream. And I really love this one. I swear I get so much hydration underneath my eyes. I just go with a little dot underneath on my ring finger I mean, just this really doesn't require a lot. And I just kind of go and I just tap it around and I kind of go like around my eyebrows and I actually even go on my 11s because I feel like they just kind of need a little more moisture. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, and my next product, I don't hear not a lot about this, and I don't know why. It I feel like it works incredibly. These this is the Ambari PM Active Serum. I know it has BHA, AHA. I mean, there's lots of um, retinol, all kinds of stuff, and it really leaves your skin so dewy and shiny and I love it. There's also a mask that comes with it. And I mean, no joke, it's, I'm at the very end. I had to get some more. I ordered some more, but it hasn't come in yet. And, but I like, this is like my fourth or fifth bottle. It really makes your skin so glowy. I mean, not just a temporary glow it's like your skin is glowing and I absolutely love it. So I put it all the way down my neck, my upper lip. I mean, it's basically like a chemical exfoliant, but very gentle, but you feel it. You really want to start off just using this little by little. I mean, you want to start off maybe using it once a week, then then you kind of go and move up to twice a week and so forth. Just like if you were using tretinoin or retin-A, something like that, right? But like, can you guys see that glow in my skin? I know it's kind of hard to tell with the, um, with the lighting and stuff, but I can't even explain how amazing this stuff is. It's so good. So that's the active that I use at night. And then... I mean, you guys, seriously, it comes with moisturizer, the serum, and a mask. And then there's also a daytime serum, which is for brightening and has vitamin C and all kinds of stuff in it. It's just really, really, really good. I highly recommend. Then I use the P and Kang Yule Moisture Ampule. And so this, I just feel like gives you that little bit of extra hydration that, you know, we try to give ourselves for mature skin. So you just suck it up. I kind of just use what comes up in the ampule and a little dropper and I put it in and rub it up into my, my hands and I just put it on my skin and I kind of try to go down and hydrate my chest too. And there's no smell. Like, it just, like nothing. It doesn't smell like anything, actually. But it gives your skin, like, just this, like, hydrated feeling. Like, somebody just gave my skin a drink of water, and I'm very, very um, dehydrated. I don't drink enough water. I know I should. That probably would help my rosacea a lot, but I don't. <laughs> anyway, so I use the final step of my skincare is the Ambari Nighttime Cream, and it is, this is amazing, okay? It's the Complex Hydrating um, Cream. And so I just get a little bit, and it's so creamy and it's so lovely. I don't use this one during the day. I feel like it's a little too much underneath my makeup. But if you guys want me to show you a daytime skincare routine, I definitely will. And I do put my put it on my hands as well. My hands feel so good after I use this. It's lovely. I definitely get around my nose because in the creases of your nose, I mean, it's just always dry and dry skin. But look at how red my skin gets. I mean, it's so crazy. I just barely touch it. It's so frustrating. But you put a little bit of makeup in it, cover and conceal. Okay. I even do my earlobes because uh, your ears get old too. So um, that's pretty much it. The last thing I do is I go in with the Laneige hydrating mask. I mean, it's the, the lip sculpting mask, is it? The lip sleeping mask. You guys, I don't have my glasses on. And I'm sorry. I don't feel like putting them on so that I can read every, <laughs> every single product. But I will list them below so that you guys can actually find out what I'm using, but this is amazing. Your lips feel so good the next day. I, I leave it on all night and I mean, it is so, so good. 
Mmm, amazing. And it's just, it's not gloppy. It's not, it's really awesome. And then that's pretty much all I do for my nighttime routine. Sometimes I'll go in with the Dialba serum and just spray over everything and let it all just sit. And I really have been super happy. I'm like hoping that these bumps will go away sometime soon. They have gotten much better. I really have cut a lot of things out of my diet and I have cut out, the only thing I can't cut out is tea and coffee. And I know that hot is not good for rosacea, but I have cut out alcohol. I have tried to cut out spicy food. Um, so I really minimize that a lot. So if anybody else has any other tips aside from the basics, like what your dermatologist will tell you, I sulfur soap I've been using. I mean, I've, I've tried everything I can think of, but it has gotten better and I'm really hoping that it will get better and better over time. I'm not doing this tonight, but I do love, love, love the Medicube, this rolling tool, it's the A-Shot or something like that. This, I mean, this is like awesome. You turn it on and you use the gel that comes with it and you work it right up your skin. I don't want to do it right now just because I've done my nighttime routine, but I try to do this at least three times a week. Um, if you guys wanted to learn more about uh, how I use my tools and what uh, what are the products I use for the daytime routine, but this is what I've been using as of late and I've been really happy. People have been really commenting on my skin, um, how dewy and hydrated it looks. And I think that it really has a lot to do with the products that I've changed up to it really, really, the skin has been very hydrated, very supple and like just, I can really feel the uh, products working and I can feel the ex exfoliation. Um, I, the, I do have a couple of wrinkles right here on my forehead, which I do a little Botox right there. But other than that, I have like no wrinkles on my skin and I've been um, very diligent with my nighttime skincare routine, making sure that you take your makeup off at night. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed my little nighttime skincare routine. And if you would give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you guys like and want to see more stuff. I will definitely be coming back with my, day my daytime skincare routine. And I also am going to be doing my hair. Um, get ready with my hair routine and hopefully you guys will come along and enjoy my content. So we'll see you again soon. Bye.